Here we have some blastable news today about the S Pen and camera of the Galaxy S26 Ultra. According to Ice Universe on X, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to include the S Pen, but it's not yet confirmed whether it will come with Bluetooth connectivity. If Bluetooth support is added, some existing features may not be available. A new leak suggests the Galaxy S26 Ultra may continue to feature the S Pen. This comes after months of concern among fans about its future. Samsung previously removed Bluetooth support on the S25 Ultra's S Pen. It also dropped the stylus entirely from the Galaxy Z Fold 7. These moves sparked doubts about whether the S Pen would survive. But Tipster Ice Universe claims the S26 Ultra will still include a dedicated slot. According to Tipser at Universize, the Galaxy S26 Ultra's camera bump measures 4.5 millimeters, nearly double the Galaxy S25 Ultra's 2.4 millimeters bump. This increase comes from the phone's slimmer frame at 7.9 millimeters and the inclusion of a wider aperture lens compared to its predecessor. Reportedly, the device will feature a 200 megapixel main camera with OIS and an f1.4 aperture, a 50 megapixel ultra wide sensor with autofocus. 12 megapixel telephoto lens at f2.4 and another 50 megapixel telephoto lens with an f2.9 aperture and OIS. The primary and telephoto cameras are expected to benefit from wider aperture lenses, enabling more light intake, which should deliver sharper details, reduce noise, and brighter overall images. Well-known Tipster Ice Universe has just shared some interesting details about the phone's design, focusing on its frame and thickness. Let's start with the measurements. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is said to be just 7.9 millimeters thick, making it slimmer than Apple's iPhone 17 Pro Max, which comes in at around 8.725 millimeters. This means Samsung is once again aiming for a sleeker and more lightweight feel compared to its biggest rival. But that's not all. When compared to the Galaxy S25 Ultra, the new S26 Ultra shows some subtle yet noticeable changes in its frame design. The middle frame on the front is now more rounded, unlike the sharper, boxier edges of the S25 Ultra. This should make the phone more comfortable to hold, while still keeping the premium flat design Samsung introduced with the S25 Ultra. From the side-by-side -side images, you can clearly see that the corners of the S26 Ultra look smoother and less aggressive. It's a small adjustment, but one that could improve the overall in-hand experience. So to sum it up, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is shaping up to be thinner, sleeker, and more ergonomic than its predecessor, while also keeping an edge over Apple in terms of design refinement. What do you think? Do you prefer the sharper look of the S25 Ultra or the more rounded feel of the S26 Ultra? A new image of the Galaxy S26 Ultra dummy unit has surfaced, compared directly with the Galaxy S25 Ultra, shared by Tipster at Theonisid. Samsung wants Plus users to get the S26 Ultra. Ice Universe has shared an image clearly comparing the displays of the Galaxy S26 Ultra and the Xiaomi 16 Pro. Unfortunately, the bezel of Samsung Galaxy S26 Pro has made little progress, probably to save costs and follow Apple, because the bezel of iPhone 17 Pro has not improved either. Xiaomi 16 Pro adopts the most advanced technology in the industry, which greatly reduces the width of the bezel. I can predict that the global sales of the Xiaomi 16 series will directly threaten Galaxy S26 Pro and S26 Edge for the first time. Earlier, I shared renders of the front of the Galaxy S26 series, though they contain some inaccuracies. This time, however, ICE has released another set of CAD-based renders of the Galaxy S26 Ultra, stating that using the new graphic tool, I spent hours making repeated adjustments just to create this set of Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra renderings based on accurate CAD data with precise R angles and bezels. In another post, Ice Universe shared an image and mentioned that. Some fans have pointed out that the corners of my renderings look unnatural. Here's the reason behind this issue. The rounded rectangle is used in smartphone designs and official renderings are not standard ones. They aren't simply made by drawing four straight lines with four arcs. Instead, a continuous, smooth curve is used to connect the curvatures at the joints. However, all my previous renderings were created in PPT, which doesn't have this smooth curve function. That's why what you saw was the style on the left side of the image, looking rather unnatural. According to Reliable Leaker Ice Universe, the Galaxy S26 Ultra will indeed include built-in S Pen support. The leaked image even shows what's believed to be the S26 Ultra, this time with noticeably more rounded corners. While most didn't expect Samsung to completely abandon the S Pen, some worried the phone might no longer include a dedicated slot for it. 
These latest leaks, however, confirm that won't be the case. The updates don't stop there. Both Ice Universe and Tipser Roland Quant have shared new details about the camera system, pointing to upgrades in three of the four rear sensors. The main 200 megapixel camera is set to feature a wider f1.4 aperture, capable of capturing 47% more light compared to the 200 megapixel shooter on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. This should lead to clearer and brighter photos, particularly in low light conditions. Meanwhile, the old 10 megapixel 3X telephoto sensor is being replaced with a 12 megapixel camera. Identified as the S5K 3LD, the Samsung made 1 slash 3 inch sensor previously used in the company's foldable and mid range devices. Renders of the Galaxy S26 series have surfaced, showing some design shifts from Samsung. The three models expected to launch in January or February are the Galaxy S26 Pro, the Ultra Slim Galaxy S26 Edge, and the flagship Galaxy S26 Ultra. A major change appears on the back, where Samsung seems to have dropped the flush-mounted camera lenses in favor of a raised camera module. Ice Universe has reportedly shared the full dimensions of the Galaxy S26 Ultra, making it possible to compare the upcoming device directly with this year's Galaxy S25 Ultra. The S26 Ultra is rumored to feature slightly more rounded corners, while keeping elements like the screen bezels largely intact. Surprisingly, the S26 Ultra may be a bit taller and wider than the already large S25 Ultra, even though the renders suggest otherwise. Based on the high-quality images showing both models side by side, the new Ultra looks shorter and narrower than the current one, which raises the possibility of an error in either the measurements or the renders. Images of Samsung Galaxy S26 dummies have recently surfaced online, and one of the models closely resembles what the Apple iPhone 17 Pro is rumored to look like. The dummies, shared by its Sonny Dixon, who has a strong track record of accurate leaks, show three Galaxy S26 models. The largest is clearly the Galaxy S26 Ultra, but the names of the other two remain uncertain. Reports suggest the entry-level version may be called the Galaxy S26 Pro, while the middle variant, currently known as the Plus, could be rebranded as the Galaxy S26 Edge. According to Leaker Ice Universe, unused space on the large camera housing will be utilized for internal components. This change would make room for a larger 4,200 mAh battery, an upgrade from the current 3,900 mAh unit, while also reducing the thickness from 5.8 mm to 5.5 mm. All three Galaxy S26 models seem to feature curved corners, backing up earlier claims that the Galaxy S26 Ultra will introduce even rounder edges. Additionally, a circular indentation on the back suggests these devices could include magnets to support Kai 2 wireless charging. With refinements in design, notable camera enhancements, and deliberate chipset choices, this flagship device maintains its premium reputation while offering meaningful upgrades. The chipset expected for the Galaxy S26, as well as other top Android phones next year, will reportedly come in two variations. Samsung may secure early access to one of them, giving its devices a potential edge. This information was shared by Digital Chat Station on Weibo and reposted by Tarun Vats on X regarding the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. This is the anticipated successor to the Snapdragon 8 Elite, widely used in this year's premium Android phones. The naming may be somewhat unclear, but the chip itself is what matters. According to DCS, two versions of the 8 Elite Gen 5 are planned. One clocked at 4.61 GHz and another at 4.74 GHz. Samsung is expected to receive the faster version first, while other brands will gain access later. For the past few years, Qualcomm has introduced two variants of its flagship processor. A standard edition is available immediately to all manufacturers, while the premium version often sees limited early distribution. When comparing the rumored 4.61 GHz and 4.74 GHz clock speeds of the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 to the current Snapdragon 8 Elite's 4.32 GHz and 4.47 GHz, it's clear that both new models deliver improved performance over their predecessors. According to Ice Universe on X, Samsung Electronics has customized a new 200 megapixel 1 slash 1.4 CIS ISO cell HPB sensor for Vivo, which will be used for the primary camera on the Vivo X300 and the telephoto lens on the Vivo X300 Pro. However, Samsung's own Galaxy S26 Ultra is still using a 1 slash 2.55 telephoto sensor. How laughable. There's an old Chinese saying, don't do business between siblings. To outsiders, Samsung Semiconductor and Samsung MX mobile experience seem like enemy, with their relationship deteriorating due to conflicting interests. If Samsung MX were an independent company rather than part of the Samsung group, 
then perhaps Samsung smartphones would have far better hardware specs than they do now. Reports suggest the company is considering opening pre-orders in December, aligning with the holiday shopping season. While this could be a bold strategy to capture sales from Apple's iPhones, launching that late in the year might still miss the peak buying period. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is also expected to feature the fastest charging speeds ever seen in the S series. According to tipster Anthony, the phone could fully charge from 0 to 100% in under 50 minutes, a major step forward for Samsung's flagship lineup. As for pricing, early listings point to consistency with previous models. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to cost $1,299.99 for 256 gigs, $1,419.99, and 99 cents for 512 gigs and $1,659.99 for 1 TB of storage. These prices remain tentative, but they reflect Samsung's ongoing strategy of maintaining stable, premium pricing across its recent Ultra generations. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Peace out.